It's funny to have a mic for the eight o'clock service. Good morning. Um, I, I am Ann McKenzie. Um, my husband, John Wisniewski, and I have attended All Saints since 1998. Um, and we actually met in a church, so we're rather I, um, different, I think, than, than some couples here. Um, so we met in a church, and we were both Sunday school teachers. I was on the board there, and we were both pledging members. So we have a long history of giving. Um, and it's always good then to talk about it. Like, why do you do it? Um, I was raised Protestant, um, the kind of Protestant where um, we had Bibles in all the pews. So once in a while, you'll see me looking at my phone, and actually it's that wonderful thing like, oh yeah, what does the rest of this say? So I'm actually looking at the Bible often, um, and it's one of the things I still do. Um, but I remember as an adult the first decision to give um, that I made. Um, I was at a church, um, and I distinctly remember looking at that $17,500 a year salary and figuring out what I could give. Um, and how I'd make my rent, kind of like Suzanne told a similar story. Um, but things have changed. So um, now I feel like I give because I have. And that's kind of a weird feeling. Um, and I, as I was thinking about this, I was thinking of Bible verses, but then um, this morning struck me. So I will go off script. Ruth, I told you I was Protestant growing up. We had those little picture books that Polly doesn't approve of, um, of the Bible, right? Um, but two of them really hit me when I was a kid. I don't remember Daniel in the lion's den. It just seemed kind of odd. I didn't like the Noah one much. Um, but the two that were my favorite were Esther, which I didn't understand half of it, and Ruth, that I didn't understand the sex at all, at all. And I didn't think much about the beginning like of course you'd go with your mother-in-law where else are you going to go she's got a cool name I don't know what it was but the thing we didn't talk about here was Boaz um and I feel like Boaz now so if you haven't read Ruth lately I would really suggest it but Boaz um is you know spoiler alert ends up being the husband and the father of that child with with Ruth um but Boaz follows the tradition he has. Therefore, when he harvests his field, he leaves some behind or he gives from beyond what he needs. So I, um, and it's called gleaning. So um, I, I think that is um, where I am right now, that I um, try to, um, to take what I need keep a little more for what I want, and have to make a decision of what I have that I need to share. Um, I um, did put down a verse, though, that has always struck me, that I think is important, um, which is Mark 12, um, 42. It's about the poor widow. This is what I'm striving for. And this is what it says. A poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Jesus saw this and called his disciples and he said, truly I tell you, this poor wid widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she out of her poverty she put in everything, all she had. I'm going to strive for that um, and, and work on that. Um, the last question, though, that I, I did want to bring up, so I'm back to my notes. Why do I give to All Saints? Because I think that's the important thing, too. There's lots of places I could give, or I could just walk down the street and try to give from, my, um, from all that I have. Um, this community has meant so much to my husband and I, and I've seen so many wise decisions made here. Um, and it just, there's a power of a group that wants to make good choices for our community and for our neighbors. So I feel great about the decision to give to All Saints. I feel great about the decision to give to Ravenswood Community Services. Um, 
And I'll tell you another place that's a great place to give. And it's called Gleaners, and it's the Detroit's version of the, of the Chicago Greater, the Greater Chicago Food Depository. So it all comes back to gleaning. Um, but this is a wonderful place to give and to think about it, and the fact that we all come and share this is a wonderful gift. Thank you. <laughs>